What's up everybody, I'm back and I'm continuing to go over what was being printed in the press at the time of Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey's arrest and what was being printed at the time their trial was going on. And the first article in today's video is from January 31st, 2007 and it is from the Madison, Wisconsin State Journal and the headline is Avery can push claim of frame up. The defense for Maine accused of murdering a young photographer was bolstered Tuesday when a judge agreed to allow as evidence an unsealed sample of his blood that his attorneys support their claim he was framed. Manitowoc County Circuit Court Judge Patrick Willis also ruled the defense could tell the jurors that Stephen Avery was wrongfully convicted in 1985 and about his subsequent civil lawsuit against the county for wrongful conviction. This next article is from February 1st, 2007, and it is from the Madison Capital Times. And the headline is, Stephen Avery's nephew balks at deal. The lawyer for a teen accused in the murder of a young photographer said Wednesday that they are not negotiating a plea deal that would entail the youth testifying against his uncle. Special Prosecutor Ken Kratz had said this week that there could be a deal struck by the end of the week with 17-year-old Brandon Dassey. Ken Kratz made comments Monday during a hearing in which a judge dismissed sexual assault and kidnapping charges against Stephen Avery because of the uncertainty of Brendan Dassey's testimony. Dassey indicated he would invoke his right not to, not to incriminate himself, but would testify against Avery if the judge granted him immunity. Brendan Dassey's attorney said Wednesday in an email to the Associated Press that there had been an offer, but Dassey declined it. His attorney stated they are not actively negotiating a deal, but his client never suggested they negotiate a deal. Avery's trial begins Monday in Manitowoc County. So it seems like, in my opinion, that they wanted to get Brendan Dassey to testify against Stephen Avery. That's why they did all of these things to Brendan. That's why Brendan sits in prison to this day, because they wanted Brendan to testify against Stephen Avery, and he declined. So they took Brendan's life from him. They have took 17 years. He was, he's was he been in prison since 2006. It is now 2023. He's been in prison 17 years simply, in my opinion, because he wouldn't cooperate with Ken Kratz and the prosecution to put Stephen Avery behind bars. The prosecution, of course, in the state of Wisconsin got their own way anyway and got Stephen Avery convicted, but they also took away, so far, 17 years of Brendan Dassey's life because he wouldn't cooperate with Ken Kratz and the prosecution. The next article we are going over today is from February 3rd, 2007, and it's from the Madison Capital Times. It states, Avery judge allows tamper test on blood. Prosecutors trying to counter defense claims of a frame-up may test a specific blood sample for the presence of blood preservatives of judge ruled Friday, just days before Stephen Avery's scheduled murder trial. Manitowoc County Circuit Court Judge Patrick Willis also refused to delay the start of the Avery trial due to begin with jury selection on Monday. Defense lawyers argued that deputies might have planted Avery's blood in the vehicle from a vial of his blood that was saved from previous court proceedings. If the blood test detects the presence of the preservative EDTA in the vial but not in the blood found in Hullbach's vehicle, prosecutors would be expected to argue no tampering occurred. We believe the test will clearly show the blood in Teresa Hallbach's SUV did not come from this vial of blood. Avery's lawyers argue the trial should be postponed so the defense can do its own tests, but the judge said the defense has already had plenty of opportunities to do so. The defense has known of the existence of the vial since July. The FBI volunteered to the state to conduct the EDA test specifically for this case. The defense has no access to the FBI. We couldn't have tested it earlier if we wanted to, defense lawyer Dean Strang said. Willis, that's the judge, ordered the contents of the vial be split Monday between the prosecution and the defense. He stipulated that the state first allowed the defense to for photograph and video the vial to show the jury its condition and the still liquid blood inside. So those are the articles we are going to go over today. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you again soon.